This is a no fancy, no fluff video. I don't have fancy cameramen. It's just me and MFJJ. Ill prepared. This, this is how it all started, okay? And so we're bringing it back old school. Me and Josh, SVA, before they're open, fixing Dan's So what we ran into is some squeaks and we actually started hearing them attack and it was pretty bad. So uh, I pulled Dan's cam assembly off and got his limb pocket torn apart here to where I can pull the limbs out of it. And the bearings in the cam do feel a little gritty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw, throw a new cam in it. Um, you know, when you're important like Dan, they'll just give you parts. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're gonna put that in there and then grease and lubricate the pocket. And if you have squeaks, it's normally one of these two things. It's either the bearings are starting to go and you can, if you take it off and try to rotate it, you'll feel some resistance in it. It's like it won't want to turn. That'll either give you a popping or a squeaking noise. Uh, or you have a ton of North Idaho dirt in everything and that will make it squeak. So if we, we already pulled this limb out a little bit and there's like dust lines that are underneath the limb and in the side of the limb where it would rub up against the limb pocket, that will squeak. So we're gonna tear that out, clean it out, put some grease in there and swap this cam out. Here we go. As long as you don't let the stuff rotate, i.e. the string and the cables, you can actually do this without anything changing. Your tune won't change, your left to right won't change unless your bearing is Fried. If your bearing's fried, then your left to right's probably going to change a little bit because your wheel lean will change because your bearing shifts when that one won't. So if we run over to the paper and we don't get a clean tear like we had before, that might be why. And then we can fix that accordingly as well. I know this probably looks terrifying to most people, but it's pretty easy to do if you have a press and some tools. And as long as you don't let the string and cables untwist, it won't be any different. Now, if you let a cable on twist or a string on twist, yeah, you got a whole nother problem on your hands. Same module, tighten them back down. <clears throat> take that yoke, set that yoke back on. You don't have to be perfect on this part because you're gonna reset it when you get it back in the axle assembly. Take this cable, put it back on. As long as you leave it attached to the cam, it won't rotate or won't twist. So do one at a time. Don't just rip all three of them off and then try to put it back on. One at a time. And if you're not sure what you're doing, take a picture before you take it apart. You always have it to reference at. Everyone's holding a phone in their pocket. You might as well use that thing to your advantage. Are you holding an Android in your pocket anymore? No, I'm holding the iPhone because you wouldn't let it go. Okay, so back this out about five. Rotate that out and pull a limb out. And look at all that North Idaho dirt under there. Come on, Dan. I guarantee you that's what's squeaking. But either way, I'm gonna off. Let me grab some Q-tips and clean out your pocket. Look at all that grime in there. Like, oh man. It was all the rain in Idaho and bears and Well, I, dirt I was bikes. keeping the psychological sabotage uh, in case there was like, in the case I was feeling threatened or like nervous. You only were threatened I was gonna start talking three about. Targets. Dude, that sounds like. Bad. I don't know if I would shoot that. <laughs> <laughs> so now that the tech video has been out, how do you feel? Be big swinging. Well, I already knew I was. It's oh like my god! It. Did you like know you were on the second day? <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't know how you shot as good as you did because you look way worse than I did. <laughs> I'll tell you that. You put some effort in there, buddy. Uh, Jake did. Small human. Yeah. Oh, that's so much nicer. What kind of grease. You People can hear. Ask. This is just white lithium grease. You can kind of use whatever you want. Every manufacturer uses different stuff and a lot of them don't use anything but the problem is once you start getting dirt and crap in there it's going to start making noise if you don't so just wipe it off best you can all that dirt and there's freaking pine needles and here dan it's the hard part are you elk hunting in north idaho this year oh yeah sure. you'll be doing this to your bow in a couple of weeks then after season yeah. it is sick and it's gonna be so good. Oh, you still didn't fix that? Okay. Batteries are always really fun to buy. God, they're so expensive now. Everything is. Yeah. Well, did you hear food drop 9% this month? I did not. That's what they said. Did that this morning. I went, really? I didn't see that. That looks the same to me. No, uh, that's why I'm not eating anymore. Right. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. Help me. And by the way, I killed two bulls last year, and people were like, you can't eat that. I'm out of meat. Well, I'm out of meat, so you tell me. I'm not giving it away either. Yeah. How long does the elk last you guys? Not long at all. And, and now you, you got a kid. You were out in like four months. Dude. Yeah, you're like singing the blues in like January. <laughs> like, how do you want to meat already? When like, did you we eat, eat it your elk? Uh, I'm still nibbling on mine, but I I, uh, I make it last. Oh, but if I had two elk, 
I'd just eat every meal. That's all I damn eat, yeah. That's all I'd eat. If I had to, or three, depending on how this year goes. You will. Well, I've talked to your mom, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, there we go. Forrest, any, um, any dry fire this week, do you think? What's your prediction? Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's oh, right there. Prediction on dry fire this week? <laughs> How many? <laughs> How many dry fires this week? Oh, I'm just going to say put, one. Oh, one. I was going to say, we should put What's the over under it, too. This that one's last week. That was last week. Last week's dry fire. That he didn't dry fire it. Oh, he didn't no, dry fire it. No, <laughs> it just came off the cams. Uh, it came outside, and it looked like that. The string just broke. The string just broke, Brandon. It's the fact of string. I can't believe Tim's didn't blow up. He's very lucky. I wish very he kind of would have. Yeah, okay. that would have been better, but more work for me. Yeah. <laughs> Really ought to license my own brass hammer. That's what they should have. Because it won't scratch stuff. Keep hammering. Yeah, buddy. That guy's no joke. <laughs> yeah. I should have got to meet him. You will. I'm going to make him but come over here and do a run. day of life at Dan. <laughs> We're going to make you run, and I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good at running. It's not yeah. even funny. Can we, it's like, can we, break his legs and can we do and something die. other than run? <laughs> Can so I we, just ride with you on my e-bike and talk to you while you're running? <laughs> make him hike and uh, use your stride length against him. That would That's true, but he's also a freaking mule, dude. Yeah, yeah he's legit. Off. Okay, here we are. Here's... All right, so limb bolts all the way back in. Oh, shoot. I'll have to redo your silver sharpie because it rotated and we let it apart. Three tie that. That popped off. But we don't we'll see if the squeaky goes away. Quiet. No so it's either pocket of the cam, but either things have been resolved. Let's, uh, look at that old cam for a second, would you? Yeah. Tell us about it. Well, a lot of North Idaho dirt in here, but when you move these bearings, they just don't move as smooth as they should. So you've probably got a seal popped in there somewhere, which can make a squeak. But with how much dirt and grime went into those limbs too, like these are still spinning pretty good, but those should spin pretty freely and pretty easily. Yeah, if you use these things, they wear out, but the uh, bearings in a cam are actually a warranty thing. So if you have grit, if you have bearings not moving, or if a bearing actually breaks, they will cover this under warranty. So they'll send you, and they won't send you bearings, they'll send you a whole cam. But they'll only send it to your shop that you bought it from, and you have to have them put it on. But yeah. So we threw a new cam in there and greased up the whole pocket, and now all of a sudden, it's whisper quiet. You could draw this bow back next to your baby and you wouldn't wake him up. So, moral of the story, don't let your strings and cables untwist when you're tearing it apart. Right? If you're gonna take it apart, keep these things the same and she'll react the same. Dan's gonna go out and check his marks here and make sure they're right, but everything looks good. Hey, head on over to my channel. Say hi to me on podiummarcher.com. I'm giving crap away, like with almost every video. It's probably worth a subscribe. Gotta follow. Peace.